What's up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video we're taking a look at the most minimal calculator and converter for Mac. We're gonna jump right into this video, but if you're new here, I make videos all about how to increase your productivity on Mac, iPad, and iPhone. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing and liking the video down below. So the app is called Numi, and like I said, it's a pretty simple interface, but you can actually do a whole lot of things from just using it as a calculator to converting different units like currencies and time zones and different weights and all those kind of things. But let's go ahead and check it out. So there isn't an app icon in your dock, but there is one in the menu bar and you can open up the app from there. And if we right click, we can open up the preferences, copy and paste stuff, but then you can also go to the docs. And this is the documentation site for the app and you can jump to any part of the features that you wanna use. So if you're doing something like unit conversion, it shows you how to do that. Or if you're trying to convert temperature, it'll show you which units you can use and what's supported. I believe this does actually support four or five different languages from English and Spanish and French as well. And I think you can also like get involved with translation or whatever, but it doesn't just work for English, which is pretty cool, even though that's the only language that I speak. So the app is actually split into two different columns. It looks like it's one page right now, but if I actually start typing something like four cups in one quart, you'll see that the result is printed on the right. And if I hover over in the middle here, I can actually click and drag this column over. So if you have some longer results or you're doing some big numbers or text, whatever, you can drag that result there. And you can also expand the window out as much as you need and it gets pretty big, but I like using it like this small little screen. So for example, if I typed in time for Sydney, it'll actually be cut off right now. I can just expand that and I can see the date and the current time in that part of Australia. There's a couple ways you can quickly clear whatever you have. You can use the shortcut Alt Command Delete, or you can actually go up to the top and just say Add Calculation and that'll clear the screen for you. And then if we go down here, we can click on the settings and here's where you can actually determine the And you can set stuff like the precision. So that's gonna determine your results to, you know, 0.2 decimals or the other way around. So it's just getting how exact you want your calculations to be for that. You can disable it in the menu bar. You can toggle night mode. So you go to a light UI if you want that. And you can also enable always on top. This is actually really useful if you have a bunch of different windows open and you are you know, constantly going back and forth between the app and you don't wanna to have to go back and find it or whatever. You can just always have it on the top of your screen. And because you can make the window so small like that, it doesn't actually have to get in the way, which is pretty cool. There's also a shortcut for what will bring up the app. I believe I have it to control alt command N for Numi. So I can just quickly bring that up. And again, you can trigger it from the menu bar. Overall, using the app is pretty cool. It does a lot of stuff. As you can see in the docs, there's just tons and tons of features. One thing that I found a little frustrating is how exact sometimes you have to be when you're putting in a certain you know, specification. For example, if you're trying to convert $45 into pounds, as in the currency in England, you can't just put $45 in pounds. And that's kind of obvious because you know pounds is also a weight that we use in US. So you have to put British pounds. So if I deleted that, it's just not gonna print a result. And sometimes when you're putting in times or you're trying to get the date for a specific part of the world, like in London, or if I change this to like Beijing, it's actually gonna take a little minute to get there. And it doesn't always print out the date. It just sometimes gives you the time. So as cool as this app is, it does kind of raise the question why you would use this over something like Siri or Alfred or just Spotlight Search. And I think the reason is, is that you can have multiple lines and that you're actually typing out stuff. If you're using Siri, you have to you know, verbally tell her what you want. Sometimes that takes a while, but then if you want to change one subtle unit, maybe you want to go from dollars to Euro or in, instead of British pounds, you have to ask that question again. Whereas in Numi, you can just change one word and it updates really quickly. And again, you have the multiple lines, so you can do multiple conversions. But the biggest thing that I love about the app is that you can save workflows or kind of save what you've been working on. So let's say you're working on a problem or you've got all these measurements that you wanna use. You can come down here to exports and you can actually save this to your downloads or whatever I'll just call this conversions because creative names. I'll just you know, save that to my desktop. 
And let's say I clear this screen and then I start working on something else or I add more conversions, whatever, and then I wanna go back to those other conversions, I can just jump over to my desktop and double click that conversions.numi file and then I've got everything back. So whatever it is you're doing, maybe you just have tons and tons of lines and you wanna save it and come back to it, or you just kinda of have a cheat sheet of stuff that you always use and you wanna pin it to the top of your window or whatever, you can just save it and the files are obviously really small because just text, so it doesn't take up any space. And that's one of the, my favorite features about the app. Now you may notice that it says pre-order at the bottom left and I haven't quite figured out why that's there because if you go to the website, you can actually download it for free and I'll put a link down below, you can check it out. But then you can also purchase a license for 16 bucks. But if you pre-order, you get some sort of discount so that when they do release the full version, then you have a license, I guess. But there isn't really any word on when that's coming out and I did some research on the developer. I didn't really find anything on his Twitter or his other social accounts. So right now I'm just kind of using the app for free, but do keep in mind that you may have to buy a license in the near future. There's a couple other things I didn't discuss, like you can integrate this with Alfred. So if you use Alfred, you can download that workflow. And then I believe you just type in N or new me before any function in Alfred and it'll work that way. And I believe the entire repository for the app is available on GitHub. So you can kind of pull that down and mess around with it. And if you're a developer, you can add extensions and those kind of things. Again, all of this is on the website. So if you're wanting to look at that, definitely check that out. But overall, this is probably one of my favorite conversion apps on Mac. I haven't really found anything else out there that does everything in one. You know, you either get a really good calculator or you get a really clean app, but you don't really get all of it together. I do wish you could do some more sophisticated calculations for math and stuff. Sometimes I use it for homework, but at some point using a calculator on a Mac or just on any computer just gets kind of frustrating and you just end up using a real calculator anyway. And this kind of has you covered with the basic stuff that you need it to do. So that is my review for Numi. I hope you've all enjoyed and definitely be sure to check it out while it's still free and you can mess around with it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.